New tonight at 7:30. As Halloween approaches, the only worry a child should have is whether to be a superhero, a firefighter, princess, or their favorite cartoon character. And the Butler County Young Professionals are making working or working to make sure every kid gets a costume they love this year, regardless of their family's income, with their Goals for Good program. And joining us now live via Zoom to talk all about it is Jordan Grady, Executive Director of the Butler County Chamber of Commerce and a member of the Butler County Young Professionals. Jordan, thank you so much for joining us this Friday night. Not a problem. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Can we start off by having you tell us a little bit more about the motivation behind starting the program? Yeah, so Ghouls for Good will be entering its seventh annual costume uh, shop here this year. It predates me a little bit. Um, essentially, the Young Professionals are an affiliate organization under the Chamber of Commerce, and the founder of this, who is still on the Young Professionals Board of Directors, um, went to my predecessor, um, pitched the idea, um, and also had a great uh, idea on how to raise funds to purchase these costumes by picking off a, a, a chamber mixer um, and doing 50-50s and basket raffles, and it was a huge success. Um, and now today, obviously in our seventh year, it continues to grow. Um, on top of the fundraising mixer, we also have support from uh, Armstrong, which is utilities company um, up in Butler County and uh, our local community college in BC3. So we really have good buy-in from this uh, community and this program has really become um, something that is um, special. What should interest in par interested parents expect if it's their first time? So uh, when you come to one of the stores, so we do have partners that we distribute vouchers for, um, but obviously when, if someone was to walk in, you know, we will certainly uh, accommodate. You'll be greeted by a volunteer or a young professional board member, um, and the costume shop will be set up kind of like you would see at a Spirit Halloween or something like that. Um, it's definitely just simulating the whole process. Um, our whole inventory is free, um, and there are gonna, there'll be thousands of costumes, and they'll be separated by um, sizes and ages and there's a you know a table with all the accessories the you know the the fake face paint and all that stuff it really is a, a an awesome thing they wouldn't even know the difference can you describe what it's like to see the kids and their faces as they get to pick out the costumes In, you know it, re it really is awesome um, and, and this year, actually, we were told that some of the Halloween parties that used to occur in schools do not occur anymore. So to be able to provide this, mm -hmm. um, it truly is an amazing thing to see. Um, it, it's, it's a program that has been so uh, beneficial to my uh, uh, professional career and uh, getting involved in the community. And uh, who doesn't love Halloween? So it's just, it's a win-win all the way around. Exactly, and we wanna pop up some of the information as for dates and times. Can you go over that for us just in case someone is jotting it down at home? Yes, so this year we, uh, well, last year was the first year that we did two costume shops. Um, we did one in partnership with Cranberry Township uh, at the Municipal Center, which will be next Wednesday, October 12th from 3 to 7 p.m. Uh, in the gym. There will be signs out front to direct you uh, if you're not familiar where the gym's at. And then uh, if you live more centralized or north, um, we'll have two set up in the city of Butler, Butler Cubs Hall um, on the 17th and 18th, and they will be both be from 4 to 7 p.m. All right. Well, Jordan, thank you so much for your time and thanks so much for doing this for the kids in our communities. No problem. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And, uh, you know, we uh, we're definitely excited and uh, I'm in costume with my Jack Skeleton bow tie. So I'm, I'm ready already. I like it. We're loving the bow tie here. <laughs> Have a well, great thank night. You. you as well. Thank you.